Does obesity contribute to oh, this at all? My goodness, obesity does tremendously. The more belly fat a person has, the higher the levels of C-reactive protein. Now, C-reactive protein is an infl inflammatory mediator. The more belly fat a person has, generally the more inflammation they I have. Heard a, I heard on the news today, they said that obesity among children has now doubled since 1970. One out of every six children in America are now obese. Right, and I heard 17% are obese in children, 34% of adults, which is wow. epidemic. Wow. Okay. There's also uh, had to be a new definition for obesity. It's called normal body weight obesity. Mm -hmm. And what it amounts to is your, your body weight may be comparable to what's appropriate for your age and your frame, but this belly fat is absolutely critical because if your belt size is too big, mm -hmm. you're collecting it in this midsection here, and that is probably more important than what we call BMI or, or your, your, your uh, body mass index. And uh, that's a new concept that, that we really need to pay attention to. And I'd like to come back to Don's comment about diet. Um, my kids, my wife, my friends get tired of hearing me preach about this, so I, but I, I got to support them 100% on this. Watch the cookies, watch the sugar, watch the bad fats. And the sugary beverages. Oh. Even the fruit beverages. Oh, that's what the <clears throat> doc, they, they, oh, this, this yeah, same thing on terrible. obesity today, it was on, <clears throat> it was on Fox News. Uh, this doctor said that uh, we're training our children to like juices. That's right. And, that's and the juices are treated the same way a soda is. No, they cause same more types belly of fat. They cause increased risk of fatty liver. He took away my favorite, diet soda, because he said what happens, even with a diet soda, your pancreas begins to say, this is sweet. So it begins to change its reaction as if it was taking in sugar. Have you heard that? Yes, absolutely. And, and so he says, it doesn't, he says, he says initially a diet soda may help you from putting on weight, but very quickly your pancreas begins to react to it the same way it reacts to ingesting right. sugar, mm -hmm. and so you get the same result. You end up putting on the body fat. Well, there was a study out of San Antonio that found that people who drank two or more diet sodas actually gained more weight than people who drank regular sodas because that, that super sweetness is still causing physiologic reactions like insulin spikes, mm -hmm. which create inflammation, which cause the body to store more fat, which raises cholesterol, raises triglycerides, raises blood sugar, of course. But getting back to your um, belly fat or the waist size, mm -hmm. over the last 40 years, studies have shown that the average waist size in men have gone from 35 inches to 39 inches mm -hmm. in the last 40 years. In women, it's gone from a thin 30 inches to 37 inches. Mm -hmm. Now, ideally, our waist size should be half of our height or less. Wow. But that's ideal. We mm -hmm. now, now they're saying if a man's waist measurement measured around the umbilicus or navel, and including the love handles, if it's 40 inches or greater, his risk of developing type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome is much greater. That's actually one of the criteria for metabolic mm -hmm. syndrome, as well as in women, is 35 inches or greater. And again, the, uh, most women now are around 37 inches. So wow. we, we are seeing and the, the more belly fat, the more inflammation, the more mm -hmm. inflammation, the more disease, and it just keeps on going that way.